more breaking news. A Clearwater police officer is off the job tonight, accused of using excessive force on a 13-year-old. Let's get right to Peter Bernard, who is live at the police department for us right now. Peter? Jan, this incident happened April 2nd at a youth home here in Clearwater. Three officers responded to that youth home after a report of a 13-year-old who was essentially going berserk, pounding on things, uh, hitting the windows, and breaking things. They ended up putting him in cuffs. Security video from the youth home shows Officer Michael Leonardo, a four-year veteran with the department, get into a scuffle with the teen as they exited the front door of the home. At one point, Officer Leonardo takes the teen to the ground in a violent maneuver. The teen suffered a broken nose, chipped teeth, and abrasions as his face hit the pavement. Officers placed the teen in a patrol car and called for paramedics. Later, they put the teen on the ground in obvious pain as the officers waited for medics. Police Chief Daniel Slaughter tells me Officer Leonardo used excessive force against the teen, so he terminated him. So it, I take no pleasure in standing in front of you today to share this news. Um, I don't see uh, I, I don't see that we provided the level of service that I would expect this 13-year-old to receive. But I also don't see the officer necessarily as a villain, but simply a human being that made a a tragic mistake and exceeded his authority and what his amount of force that he was allowed to use. Chief Slaughter tells me when asked about the takedown, Officer Leonardo admitted he had better options. And the chief points out the 13-year-old was verbally abusive, was cussing, but he says that's no excuse for the amount of force that the officer Leonardo uh, performed against the, the kid. The two other officers that were seen in the video received some counseling, and the investigation of all this came about as the result of a use-of-force review. Jen? Peter Bernard, live for us in Clearwater. Thank you, Peter.